Although water heaters can differ from model to model, they all operate on similar principles. In this video, we will address how electric water heaters work, as well as potential problems you may encounter. Most electric water heaters use two heating elements to warm the water in the tank. When a designated water temperature is reached, the heating elements will cycle off. The lowest available temperature setting will rarely cycle the heating elements on. The highest available setting is usually 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Most manufacturers recommend that the temperature be set no higher than 120 degrees Fahrenheit. The tank and the heating elements both affect how efficiently the water heater operates. Both the incoming cold water pipe and the outgoing hot water pipe connect to galvanized steel pipes on the tank. Since many homes have copper plumbing, a dielectric union is needed to connect the two types of piping. Without this union, the pipes can deteriorate due to electrolytic corrosion, a process that occurs when water flows across two dissimilar metals. The incoming cold water pipe attaches to the dip tube in the water heater. The dip tube distributes the incoming water to the bottom of the tank to ensure that all of the water is heated thoroughly. If the tube deteriorates and breaks, the incoming water will stay near the top of the tank where it won't heat properly. Although the interior of the water tank is metal, it's coated with enamel, which prevents salt, chemicals, and other minerals in the water from attacking the metal. To further protect the tank and dip tube, an anode rod is used to attract corrosive minerals. Some water sources, such as well water, may attack the anode rod, which can result in a strong sulfur smell. However, removing the rod is not recommended, since the corrosive minerals it attracts can quickly deteriorate the tank and cause it to fail. A water heater will normally have a drain valve at the bottom of the tank, as well as a temperature and pressure relief valve near the top. Over time, mineral deposits collect in the tank. To avoid deposit buildup, the drain valve should be opened and the water flushed out once every few years. If the water temperature or pressure increases above proper operating levels, the temperature and pressure relief valve will open to stabilize the system. If at any time one of the valves begins to leak, then the valve has failed and will need to be replaced. A discharge tube must be installed on the pressure relief valve and positioned six inches from the floor to prevent scalding water from spraying out of the tank and causing injury. If the tank develops a leak, the cold water supply should be shut off immediately. A slow drip can quickly turn into a steady stream. Installing a drain pan under the water heater that is connected to a floor drain is a great way to avoid damage to your home. Many manufacturers suggest that insulation be installed on both the incoming and outgoing pipes to help prevent heat loss. If your home is located in an area that is susceptible to earthquakes, then flexible water supply lines along with a mounting strap will be required when installing a water heater. Most electric water heaters use 240 volts of alternating current to operate two heating elements, one near the middle of the tank and one near the bottom. Each element is controlled by its own thermostat. The thermostats maintain the water temperature inside the tank by opening and closing contacts that allow voltage to flow to the heating elements. The elements are designed to cycle on one at a time, and the frequency of these cycles depends on how much heat is needed. If your water heater is not working properly, you should first determine if a house fuse has blown or a circuit breaker has tripped. If you confirm that the water heater is receiving sufficient voltage, shut off the power and check to see if the reset button on the high limit thermostat has tripped. Next, you can test each element and thermostat for continuity to determine if a continuous electrical path is present. If an element or thermostat does not have continuity, the part should be replaced. Repair Clinic has a solution for many of the problems you may be experiencing with your water heater. Enter the water heater's full model number in our website search engine for a complete list of compatible parts. Our site also has an extensive selection of instructional videos to assist you, covering topics like part testing, disassembly, and part replacement. At Repair Clinic, 
We make fixing things easy. 